Now we've just finished JDF 2012 and what a year it was. All these amazing, amazing filmmakers coming to Dublin for 11 days. We've uh, had a fantastic festival. Uh, the town is taken over by filmmakers, film lovers, by audiences. The adventure was shared, the story was celebrated. We loved it. And now, let's wait for another year. Let's wait for Jamison Dublin International Film Festival 2013 coming up in February. My name is Liam, I'm the production manager for the festival this year and we are in the throes now of gearing up for opening night, uh, February 14th in Savoy. Uh, the opening film this year will be Broken, we're very excited about it. Um, the festival itself this year is operating across all city centre venues, uh, Savoy City World, IFI, Lighthouse, and we have for the first time a full-time festival hub in Film Basin Temple Bar, and of course we have a new space for the festival club which will be downstairs in the church on Mary Street um, as well as industry events taking place in Film Base and in the Odeon as well this year which we're very excited about. So it's all go, it's all breaking out logistics and schedules and timetables and guests and ticket sales and front of house and volunteers and all that so we're really looking forward to it and really excited about it. for stories where there are evil people and great people you know it's uh, I think there's a real humanity in all of those characters even if they even, even if some of the things they do are, are quite uh, seemingly unsympathetic I could I could put myself in the shoes of all of them uh, it, it, it's fantastic of course I'm going to say it's fantastic but it's particularly fantastic because so much of the film was cooked up uh, down there on the banks of the river with Marco Rowe uh, you know, scrapping over the script and working out how the hell to do this. You know, it's my first film. I, d I really didn't know what I was doing. And to have someone like Marco Rowe and his kind of knowledge of the, of the medium and, and his kind of literary skill just guiding that was fantastic. You know, a great deal of it was cooked up here. So it feels really, really apposite. Great honour that, that we're uh, opening the festival. It's great, yeah. I mean, I'm really proud of the film and I hope that people like it. It's, uh it's a beautiful film and Eloise Lawrence is the star of it, she's amazing and yeah, I hope people enjoy it. I like the idea of playing somebody who was intrinsically good, who was an incredibly good uh, man with a great sense of integrity, just loved his kids and, and, uh, and then ha had what he loved most ripped away from him. I like the idea of, of trying to examine that and, and get inside that a bit. The one thing, thing, thing that you, you really kind of get very quickly about Rufus is that there's a serious intellect at work and there's a great, he's a, he's a, he's a thinking man, he's an artistic man and, um, and a very, a, a, you know, a very good man, a good, has a good heart. So, you know, you feel, you, you feel you're incredibly safe when you, you know, when you're ex exposing stuff you know, uh, emotions that maybe would be a little bit tricky in other hands, you know. So I felt I was in a good, very good hands. Just by the end. 